Hello, in this video we're going to send a RS485 message, a serial message from ESP32 to the PC. We will use the same code as in previous videos for ESP32 in ESPIDF5 environment and on PC we will use a simple Python code. Our hardware setup is ESP, which is sending the UART message to the MAX uh, 485 transduce transducer, which uh, send an RS-485 message to the converter, which is connected via USB. And we'll talk about whether it's really USB to the PC, and we will see this message on the PC. This is our standard pinout, just to be clear regarding the abbreviation. We are talking about the GPIOs, and in our further schemes, we will re regard to those GPIOs, and uh, more specifically to UART number 2, to GPIO number 17 and 16. To be more specific on our hardware connection, actually we're sending a UART message from ESP32 to the MAX485 uh, and we're sending it via DX2, which is on GPIO17, and we connect it to DI here. And the RX is connected to RO here, and uh, a, a ground uh, a, and the VCC connected here and here. The interesting thing is that from the GPIO number 15 on the ESP32, we are connecting it to the those two pins, DE and RE, and they are practically shortened between them. Uh, I thought where this slide is relevant, but just to be clear, we connect A to A and B to B to enable the RS-485 connection from A here to A here and from B here to B here. So this is uh, the first uh, presentation regarding our goals. Next, we will go to our resources. All the code are uh, saved in Sims IoT devices inside repositories. You can see a repository which is ended with RS-485 here. And uh, this repository is covering three videos on this subject where the current video is video number three, this one. And this video is using the converter, which is, which is connected to the PC. So those two files with the converter are relevant. One is the Python file, which is installed, on, which, which will run on our PC. And the C file, which will run on ESP32. And here you have an explanation regarding those files. What we are basically doing, we taking this file and copying it to our project, which was, which was created as a new project on the PC, uh, on the ESP32. Uh, this is the code. I will run it, um, and which in have the same includes. It's the same code which we used in all our previous videos. You see here definition for Rx and Tx for UR2 for pin 15. We have initiation on the in the bound rate, and uh, we set the relevant pins to enable the UART. This is initiation of the UART. Our task is sending hello from PC and uh, calculate the number of bytes, and then reading the string, writing the string which was transmitted and number of bytes that were transmitted. So this is a string and this is number of bytes. We wait for five seconds and transmit again. Our main is uh, initializing the pin number 15 and initializing the UART 
and uh, starting the task. Okay. Now let's go to our PC. This is connected to the via USB to ESP32, so we can see actually what's going on. The other file here is the Python file for with the converter. This one. We are copying it to our Python editor, which is in my case the same VS Code. We take we use the serial library and we defining the UART and in which code. Here is an interesting point. If we will see the connection on our computer, you see here ports which uh, with the, which have the external connection, we have two connections. One is to our ESP32, okay? And the other one is to our with our converter. The other connection is on COM number four. So we have COM number four. But uh, here is the interesting thing that despite the fact that it is a USB connection, actually the USB serial connection, which is using the CH340 chip, which basically trans sends a UART message to the PC. So in our Python code, we are reading the UART message. So we're defining the same bound rate as ESP32. We're defining the COM, in our case COM number four, and uh, the UART definitions. Then we start the code, where we start li to listen, and then we read the data. Okay, let's run this code. Okay, now we are listening and okay, here we receiving the same message that was sent. Here you have see on the right side the messages sent from ESP32 and on the left side you see the messages of the Python code uh, execution which where we can see the same message every 5 seconds. So this is basically what we have for today. Thank you.